To begin her research, Naomi wants to see what her dad can tell her about his family. I really know nothing about my dad and his side of the family. And we've been in contact, I would say, a handful of times. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. All right. Okay. Come in. Thank you. This is my mum and dad, Barbara and George. Mm. Looks a lot like you. Really? Yeah. All right. My mum was born in Guyana mm -hmm. and went to Trinidad as a child. And then my dad was born in um, Grenada mm -hmm. and went to Trinidad. Because I think yeah. he went when he was about 15, 16, something like that. Um, number 10 Main Street, mm -hmm. St. James. So that's where your mum was living yeah. at the time. Yeah. That's in the capital, Port of Spain. So how many children did they have? There was eight, and but my... Excuse me? Eight of us. Eight? Yes. Eight children. I had no idea. Really? No. <laughs> Eight children. So when did you come over? How old were when you? When I was seven. Oh, you came over when yeah, you were seven. seven. This is me oh, and my... Oh, my gosh. My other brother, when we just came over. And where were you initially? Were you in North London? Um, yeah, we, yeah, we lived in Hornsey. Then we moved to Muswell Hill after oh, that. I... That's it, and they stayed in that area. They stayed in Muswell Hill? Yeah. The whole time? Yeah. So they never moved? No. Wow, so they were just up the road from me. You could Throughout walk. my entire... Yeah. Gosh, it's all coming out now. <laughs> Jeez, wow. So that's so weird that I never, ever met them and mm. we were so close. Yeah. We were yeah. probably streets apart. That's weird. <sighs> yeah. Wow. And do you know any further back at all about where the family comes from? Not really. I mean, you'd have to go to Trinidad to my older brother, mm. Saba, and he would be able to give you a, a lot of um, helpful information. Hello. Lovely to see the young lady. Beautiful. Lovely to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you. Same here. Oh, thank you so much for doing this. Naomi knows her granddad George came to Trinidad from Grenada as a teenager and she wants to learn more about his family background. I know nothing about George. My father was a jovial person. He would drink and um, have fun with his friends and gamble, and, and he was a great dancer. Well, this is um, the birth certificate of, of my father. Um, so the date and place of birth, the 24th of April, 1922, in the district of St. Andrew in Grenada. His father is Wilfred Clark, who is my great grandfather. Rank or professional father, chauffeur. So do you know anything further back than Wilfred? Yes, well, we know that Wilfred's father, Charles William Wallace Clark. According to my father, he was born in Ireland. So Charles is white Irish and we don't know who, who he married. His wife, I don't know anything about her. OK. But I know she was a Grenadian, an African Grenadian. Oh, really? She's hoping that historian Angus Martin can tell her more about George's family background. So with Charles William Wallace Clark, my great, great grandfather, we know that he's Irish, so that means that he came over from Ireland to Grenada. We know that he was white. Yeah. He was born here, it seems. Oh, he was born here. Yes. I see, yeah. I see. Um, and I know that he married a Grenadian woman. Yes. How unusual would that have been? Um, not as unusual as you might think. You know, right. Throughout history, you do see quite a few of those marriages. But in this period, we're probably seeing a little more of them. Do we know anything about her? Do we know her name? Um, we know her name, Aunt Sophia. Aunt Sophia, mm -hmm. OK. And she would have been a housewife. Mm -hmm. um, and really, she does not show up in documents much, which is oh, sad. So sad. It is, it is. Naomi's great-great-grandfather was Charles William Wallace Clark. But contrary to the family story she'd heard, he wasn't born in Ireland. 
His wife, Naomi's great-great-grandmother, was Anne Sophia. In what we've been able to uncover about um, Charles, we would you get the idea that he has an important role in society. Mm -hmm. And I would like to share with you the information from the Grenada Handbook. In 1897. Um, this is like the phone book of the period. Um, so there are lots of clerks here. Mm -hmm. That must be him. That's him. Yes. Clark CWW, and he was an overseer at Mount Haunt St. Andrews. Mm -hmm. So what did that mean did exactly that mean? Oh. <laughs> at that time? The overseer basically runs the plantation. They're in charge of the workers and the production. But these would have at this time been free workers? Yes, or? yes, yeah. yes. Naomi's great-great-grandfather Charles was an overseer in 1897, over 60 years after the abolition of slavery. But the role had its origins in the era of slavery, when overseers gained a reputation for cruelty and brutality. Angus is taking Naomi to see Mount Horn, where Charles worked. Up until the middle of the 19th century, Grenada's main crop was sugar. But when prices plunged in the 1840s, this estate, like most on the island, faced financial ruin. I would like to share this with you. Uh -huh. This is looking at a number of plantations. So this is 1890s. Okay. Yeah. So there we have Mount Horn. So that's the number of acres. Ah. 360 and acres. Point. Yes. And producing cocoa. Right. Okay. Cocoa was becoming the big crop. So they're producing um, 660 ba bags. Right. Bags like this. Bags like this, yes. Um, of cocoa. Mm -hmm. Charles, your great great grandfather, mm -hmm. would have been the one that basically supervising all of the, the production. Okay, the Grenada Handbook 1921. St. Andrews, Secretary, Town Warden, and Collector of Jetty Dues, C.W.W. Clark. Okay. So he had worked himself all the way through to become the Town Warden. Mm -hmm. So he was like the highest official run in the town. Right. Oh, so he yeah. and his wife are really... They've, they've arrived. They've arrived. <laughs> <laughs> They're living at large. Right. <laughs> 